This video is going to cover a rear side adjustment for windage on a Ruger SR9. This should also work for an SR40 or an SR45. When I got the gun, it shot to the right, so I had to move the rear sight left, or moved it in the direction I wanted it to move, the, the shot placement. And you can see it's a little off center, uh, so you can tell I did the adjustment. So the hard part with adjusting sight is remembering to bring all the tools that you need. So read the manual. You need a 564 Allen head. Manual says to bring a piece of wood or a plastic or rubber mallet, which is fine. Instead I decided to bring a regular old punch. And it's a punch that would get a decent amount of decent amount of area for contact on the sight. And my light ball peen hammer. And then I also brought a piece of modeling clay wrapped in saran wrap or plastic wrap. And that was just to support the gun. So it's pretty easy to adjust these sights. You might need a buddy to help you because it's hard to hold everything together. All you're going to do is take your 564 wrench and there's a hole right here by the elevation screw. You're going to feed it in there. This is your set screw and you're going to lefty-loosey back it out. Don't back it out too much otherwise you'll do what I did which is mar up the plastic right here around the hole. So back out the set screw and then if you're going to go left or right you know, you're going to be... Um, we'll cover how to do that, how to set that up, but basically you get the punch here Set it up. You gotta support the gun. That's what the that's what the modeling clay is all about. Support the gun, and then tap, tap, tap. A little bit at a time. Go slow, slow and easy. If you overshoot it, you can always go back in and and start over. So once you're corrected, back with the Allen wrench, knock that, and reset the set screw. So again, real quick, undo the set screw. Set the gun down, the punch and the hammer to not tap the sight left or right, however you need to do it, and tighten down that set screw at the end. You, you need to kind of pick a point. You're going to look on the slide uh, on either side of here. You need to pick a point where you can see it so that when you move the, the sight, you can tell that it moved. Because sometimes when you tap on it, it doesn't move. Uh, and so you got to tap a little harder, but you don't want to go too far because that's just a pain. And that's where your buddy might help you. The buddy, the buddy can help you hold the gun uh, where you want it while you tap with the punch. And the buddy can also watch the rear sight on the slide to tell you when it moves. So that's that's the mechanics. Let's go over uh, some of the other stuff real quick that makes it easy. Typically when I go out and shoot, I like a nice big bullseye and I set it out and then I'm going to set up and I'm going to shoot. I'm going to put the, the red dot right over my front sight. I'm going to shoot. Hopefully you shoot from a bench and you're going to see how it groups. And if it groups to the left or the right, you'll, you'll know the sights are off. The problem with this is that this is too much black. What you really want is just a plain paper and some sort of dot. Uh, you know, one of these little sticker targets would work. Uh, if, you know, just taking a marker and a black mark on here, you don't even need a paper. Uh, a target, you can, you can get yourself a, a nice big piece of paper or a piece of cardboard. Off-white is better than white because the white reflects the light really harshly on your eyes. And so, what you want to do is set one of these target squares out and then you're going to shoot it don't shoot it too far away and when you shoot you want to set it up so that front sight sitting right underneath the target make sure to look at the front sight when you're shooting take a nice uh, nice shooting position on a rest squeeze the target so you that you get a good grouping now if you if you group over here you're going to want to, you want the shots to go left, so you move the sight 
left. If you're, if you're shooting to the left and you want to move it to the right, you're going to hit that rear sight and you're going to move it to the right. Move the sights in the direction you want the shot. With the target, make sure that you have uh, a big piece of paper and a bunch of these stickies. So you can, you can go out and you can shoot and then you can adjust your sights and you can shoot at another spot and you can adjust your sights and you can shoot at another spot so you don't have to go up and down range to check your target each time you make a sight adjustment. So it's best, especially if you're a range where they're going to go hot and cold and you got to wait for the range master. Set up enough dots that you can you can shoot and you can see the holes and you can adjust your sights and then you can shoot again and you can put targets up, down, left, right. If you're shooting from a bench you only need to shoot three or four shots to see where you're grouping and it will go pretty quick. Now I did not touch the front sight here and the manual does not cover the front sight adjustment. In theory you could do it uh, if you decide to do that. With the rear sight if I'm shooting right and I want to move the shots left I move the rear sight left. It's the opposite with the front sight. Okay, so if I want to move the shots left, rear sight would go left, front sight would go right. I'm not recommending you do that, okay? I'm, I'm only, I only did the rear sight. That's the only thing the instructions that Ruger has laid out is for the rear sight. So call them up. They're great people. Uh, their customer care is good. If you can't get the, the rear sight adjusted the way you want it, ask them about the front sight. Ask them what they can do for you. Ruger is a quality company. They stand by their product. So I'm pretty happy with the SR9. Uh, it was shooting right for me. Now it's shooting straight on. The rear sights are a little off, but doesn't really uh, doesn't really affect you when you when you pull up and when you're uh, shooting shooting off uh, shooting quickly and looking at that front sight. All right. Thanks for watching.